Hi, my name is Dex from MyConsult and today we'll be looking into applying Leaf with SQL Payroll eLeaf module. So first thing you will need to do is actually you need to go and download the eLeaf app from the App Store or Google Play Store. So click your App Store. Here's type eLeaf. And you can see the SQL Payroll eLeaf module here. Alright. So once we're done, we'll close it. So then once we install, you will see the eLeaf app right here. We press SQL Payroll eLeaf. Right, so you have to key in the email that has been keyed in under the maintain employee details. Once we're done, you just press next, and then the system will then request for you to check your email for the OTP code. Right, so once you actually receive an email, you'll receive an email something like this at the back here. So they will actually give you an OTP code like this. So let's say it's 714651. We click into your app. Here we key in the number 714651. Press done, press verify, and then the system will be logged in already. Okay, so let's say today I want to take a leave. So let's say I want to use a training senior Bahad, press training senior Bahad. So let's say, example, if I'm an employee, I only will see employee view. So I press employee view here, and then let's say if I want to take a leave, I just press take a leave here. And then here I can select what day I want. So let's say example, I want to change this to I want to apply for the 15th of April. I want to apply this as a annual leave, medical leave or unpaid leave or even a special leave if you have that. So let's say I want to put annual leave here. I can say this one. I want to put say a uh, sending car for service. Done. We press submit and then the leave has been submitted. So, of course, you have to wait for your approval from your manager or the director. So, now you can see there's three pending here. So, you can click here three pending and we can see what are the pending leaves, what are the approved leaves, and of course, what's the rejected leave. All right. So, that's actually how simple it is to apply leave from SQL Payroll e leave module. If you have any guides, that you would like us to cover, please leave it in the comments below. Thank you.